look at this driveway. Is this absolutely gorgeous or what? I, I want to drive this driveway once in every every episode just because I love it. <laughs> it's just it's just so cool. Hello everybody. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Tenacious Viking, your farmer host. Well, if this doesn't look like your typical <laughs> Farming Simulator 17 uh, map, it's not. It's the brand new uh, DLC, Estancia Lapacho Plantation, with sugarcane. Look at this gorgeous house. There's a garage over there with a pickup in. We're going to take a ride on that later on. Look at this. Wow, that's a full pond. <laughs> we don't make that any fuller. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to hop around and check out some of these question marks because I, I, I read them already, but, um, I learned some things from it. Um, let me start over here because this is, this is where I learned several things, uh, new things. Here is the sugarcane harvester. It removes the top leaves and cuts the thick sugarcane stalks into small compact pieces. Just as forage harvesters, sugarcane harvesters do not have their own tank and is required to accompany them with a tipper. So that's a, a fairly small one, but you know it'll, it's a starter. It comes with the map. Um, and here is the sugarcane seed in effect. It, sugarcane grows comparably slow, but it does not wither. Harvested sugarcane will grow back after a while and can be harvested again. I didn't know that. I mean, I never stopped to think about that. I it just wasn't on my radar. Um, and then over here, isn't this, isn't this a neat little shed? Oh my gosh, it's, even the shed is, is gorgeous. During harvest, specialized sugarcane tippers are commonly used as they have a higher tip height, allowing them to tip the sugarcane stalks directly into a truck to guarantee a quick transport. Sugarcane can't be stored in silos. However, it can be tipped anywhere in the ground and stored there. Different stations offer different prices for sugarcane, but the most profitable station would be the sugarcane mill. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, well, let's do that. Let's look at the map. The, the sugarcane mill is way down in the lower left corner. Um, but look at all the other cell points. There's one, two, three grain elevators, a biogas plant, a transport company, a lumberyard, a bakery, a spinnery, a harbor, lots of places to sell your crops, uh, which I think is really cool. And some of them, uh, at least the three, the three grain elevators and uh, the lumber yard and the transport company are accessible by train. Now I don't know if you have to access them by train or if uh, if they're just there. But we have a combine ready to start some um, uh, harvesting some wheat. Oh, I got it. Up, don't I? Okay. So we're going to do that. We've got uh, a tractor here with a trailer. We're going to see if we can find the field. <laughs> I have no idea where it is, and I don't have the map on. Uh, okay, we're at one, so I think I can go around this way, can't I? We're gonna take a little uh, a little uh, pickup ride around. Uh, yeah, there we are. There's our wheat field. This map is absolutely gorgeous. I I'll have to let my friends in Central America let me know how realistic it is, but uh, it it is it's simply gorgeous, just beautiful. Uh, this one oh this is the one by the seed. Okay. I don't think I need him yet, because this one is all ready to hook up and plant, I believe, and fertilize. Okay, good, 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 good. Let me hop out and read this just to be sure. To sow sugarcane, you'll need a billet planter like the Gessner single row billet planter. As with potatoes, the machines can be filled with sugarcane stock to the last harvest. You can tip the stocks directly into the billet planter or make use of a telehandler or wheel loader with a shovel attached to fill the machine. Even without sugarcane stocks, you can start to plant sugarcane. Simply purchase a pallet of sugarcane in the shop and fill the billet planter with it. it. It looks like we have some, but we also have, apparently, uh, sugarcane here. So let's try this, see if we can get this to work. I have no idea how this thing works. Okay. Turn on sower. Lower sower. And uh, let's do this a pace. 
I don't know how this. Uh, okay, you can. Yeah, you can have a single row apparently. So, yeah. I'm not going to try to figure out how to turn around. I'm going to put a hired hand on this and let uh, let him go uh, with that. So we're going to plant a sugarcane field, and uh, apparently it grows back. So you plant it once, and you're good. You start with uh, with three fields, uh, fields 1, 2, and 14. 14 and 2 are cultivated. One, is, as you can see, is already ready to harvest. Um, I don't know what the growing seasons are and so on. Uh, all right, let's take a look at some of the other. Uh, oh, okay, we're at the <laughs> we're at the at the pickup. So let's uh, open the garage door and Oop, monkey. You got to be kind of careful uh, coming out here. Now you can just turn to the left and get over to the farm uh, from there. But if you want to follow the the, the roads <laughs> and the uh, the roundabout. There's even a, a private plane uh, on the plantation, which is very interesting. Um, let me take you, I, you know, I don't remember going out that way, but I don't know if I... Oh, now we'll come back around that way. Um, quick tour of the place. You've seen uh, this area where the uh, sugarcane uh, harvester and the tractor and the seed are. And uh, <laughs> it's really neat. But I'm not sure what all is in here. Um... That must be a cultivator, I assume. Uh, and that must be a, a grain planter. Yeah, I think. Uh, this, I believe, is cattle. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it, you're supposed to be able to raise sheep and pigs, too, but I'm not sure where. Uh, here's your grain elevators. Uh, you can store grain in. Um, until you're ready to sell it. Pick up there. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. I, I did. I went this way before, and it's kind of an interesting. A lot of back routes to things. Um, a water tower. I don't know if that's operable or not. But uh, we'll we'll take the loop around town here, and uh, and and we're gonna kind of hustle because it takes a while to get around. Um, I don't know that I'm good enough to drive this without getting into trouble. Um, here's a petrol station right here. I don't know if there's gas on the farm itself or if you have to come over here to, to gas up uh, or wood. Now, one thing I did not do... You're supposed to... It looks like... Oh, there isn't a road. Okay. It's just a... I don't know what that is there. Um, oh, that's the... Uh, that's where you buy ca uh, livestock. Yeah, that's right. I, I remember now. I've only seen this once, folks. So, you know, I'm... There's a train track. <laughs> we'll come back to haunt you in a moment. There's a huge sell point. Uh, I assume you can sell about everything here because this looks like a, a pretty big, pretty big deal. Uh, that, oh, that's the harbor. That's why. Okay. Now look at that bridge in the distance. Now I went over there and wanted to cross that bridge, but you can't. It's blocked, unfortunately. So um, there's a sell point over here in the town. Not sure what the name of the town is. I haven't stop to read the sign. Right in there is a, some kind of a cell point, I guess. And then um, over here is another cell point. Whoa! Somewhere. Here. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. You have to back up to that. Well, you can sell eggs there too, I guess. I don't know if that's all you can do or not, or what that is what it is but uh, you come over here and uh, the bridge is blocked sad oh well but look what you do get um, you know look at this view and you can go over here because there's a field over here um, so I see this map this sign 
Ruinas, the, uh, the Pacho, Agroguano. Okay. <laughs> Good and Cesena are going to have a field day with Agroguano. That's what they call their farming, farming uh, series, Guano. That's why they started it when they did. You can sell eggs here, I guess. Don't see the exact spot. Is that the store? That might be the store. Oh, it is. Yeah, that's the store. That's not far enough away. Don't like the power lines here. That kind of ruins the view. But there's enough gorgeous views on the rest of the, the map that uh, I'll forgive them that one. I, I wonder if, you know, if sugar cane grows, grows back, I wonder how many of those fields you actually need. Okay, there's... Whoa! Sorry! Oops! I wasn't paying attention at all. Um, but here is... Oops, I passed it. Shoot. Dang it. Okay. You're going so slow. It's one thing I never understood. Why do other vehicles go so much slower than you do? That's not the driveway I wanted. This is right here. Look at this driveway. Is this absolutely gorgeous or what? I I want to drive this driveway once in every every episode just because I love it. <laughs> it's just it's just so cool. Such a well done map and so interesting. Um, stand to learn a lot, uh, those of us in North America, from uh, from this. Um, I can hardly wait to get started on it. Now, whether I play this map or not is going to de be determined almost entirely by your views. If the views aren't there, I have a lot of other fish to fry. So, oops. <laughs> um... Close the garage door. In tab to oh that's full, so let's go pick up some wheat, and then we're going to take a joyride. I wonder what I have to. I don't have anything to pick up the straw, do I? Yeah, I don't think it comes with that. Uh, I love these little Brantner trailers. Uh, there's two of them, I think, that you get it to start with. Uh, they're inexpensive, but they're so so useful. I use them in uh, in my farm site. I hook three of them together to, to, to haul pig feed because you like you like to have three different kinds: corn and and then wheat or barley or and then some other things. And then the third group to feed pigs. So I like to do that with it. I color code them too, so I can remember what I've got in each one. It doesn't help me a lot because there's no. This is all the same. They're either you know green or yellow or gold. It's not terribly helpful when you're <laughs> trying trying to trying to. to Use a color code. Um, this tractor here. Okay, we're planting yet. It's a slow, slow process for a single row planter, but you know, you start early and you go. <laughs> um, this is what I wanted to get to. Now, this is uh, okay. This is station uh, grain elevator two, um, and I believe that that is yeah. That's. Uh, you can either you can either pick up or, or drop off uh, green there. So is that uh, is there green on that car? I can't tell. Well, let's do this. Let's let's take a ride around on the train um, and see if is there a there is a drive up there, but I don't know if you can unload green there or not. I'm hoping you can because it's closest to the farm. So if I need if I need to take the train to uh, to sell grain, uh, that would be the closest place to uh, to load the train up. Uh, I'm just not sure. Here's obviously a, a nice lumber place. Rick 9G will love this. You can bet he'll do some logging on this. Probably before he plants sugar cane. Listen for the bell. That's so nice. This thing goes all the way around. Look at this. 
it's a long, long route around. It's just and it's just one loop, so you don't have to get confused like we did, like I did in Goldcrest Valley. Which train do I need? Wait, I'm going the wrong one. Here's a cell point. Now, kind of keep an eye. Can you can you bring grain here too? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay, cool. So hopefully, all three of those you can drive up, drop grain off, and then use the train to distribute it. I mean, it's kind of efficient to use the train to actually go and sell it because then you're not tying up your own equipment um, to do that. Now look at this. Absolutely stunning. You're going up a big hill here. And, uh, and you can look around at, uh, at all of this gorgeous scenery. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love that. Screenshot time. Oh, I can't get it to work. Screenshot doesn't work when I'm doing that. recording on uh, fraps for some reason. I don't know why. Makes me sad. Here is a, a oops, I don't know, but this is the transport company and, and I, I'm not sure. I assume you can sell anything there, but it's a little odd. Uh, but now look at this. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen this side here either. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. This is so fun. This is such a great map. Uh, I'm looking forward to learning about sugarcane and uh, and harvesting it. And uh, I hope all my subscribers in uh, in Central and South America will uh, will. Uh, I gotta go read that. Uh, I hope all my subscribers in Central and South America will, uh, will enjoy this series and uh, support it enough for me to do a, a bunch of uh, episodes on it. I would love to farm this. I will, anyway, <laughs> either on camera or off. Uh, but I'd love to do it on camera for you guys and uh, show you what this, uh, what this wonderful map is like. This is so nice. Oh, hey, there's the bridge again. Another grain elevator cell point. Now, I don't know if, if you can sell sugarcane at any of the grain elevators, uh, or if it's mostly at the sugarcane. Um. How to do that, you know, when you're a train engineer. Um. Yeah, so I, I don't know if you can sell uh, sugarcane at any of the grain elevators, or if it's mostly the sugar mill, the harbor, and maybe maybe one other thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, I'm back to where I started, and I'm about out of time for this episode, but I wanted to show you this map, how great it is, and see if there's enough interest in, uh, in uh, farming at the, at the plantation. Uh, let me go around. This isn't quite full yet. Um, so we don't have much more we can do. We can watch the planter. That's an interesting-looking planter. With the, I'm not sure what the white boxes are for, if that's where the stalks. I wonder if they're chopped up and put in. I don't really know about that. I might do a little research on sugarcane uh, planting and harvest. That would be kind of fun to, kn to know more about, and I'll, I'll share that with those of you who don't know um, if I'm able to do a series on it. Uh, I like this planter. It's only a one-row planter, but it does, it does fertilize at the same time, so that's a pretty good deal. Let me show you real quick the uh, map overview. Uh, you, you come on, you know, with the um, oops, with the um, uh, the ripe wheat field and then a cultivated field 2 and 14. Um, I'll have to look at prices and figure out what I want to... Uh, nothing is fertilized, um, but it doesn't have to be plowed. So, uh, so I mean, prices are good right away, but I see they're dropping already. Um, so I would probably uh, grab a trailer and sell all those. There's another trailer somewhere, I think. I think. Um, so I'll probably sell that uh, pretty quickly here. And uh, and then you've got your sugarcane price. Uh, it's not a very high price, so I'm hoping the yield is pretty good. See, bakery, harbor, sugar mill, and transport company. Okay. Well, see, they're making liars out of themselves right away because the bakery has the best price right now. 
So uh, let me see what else you can sell here. Uh, wool, of course, great price. Um, and then straw, and I forgot what this is. Oh, that's the, is that the, I forgot what that is. Oh, is that, that's uh, wood chips, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, vehicle overview, you got some old equipment already, but, you know, whatever. Um, animals, you can, like I say, you, you can raise sheep, pigs, and cows. Uh, let me see if I can tell on the map where where to do that. Um, the cattle are right at the main farm. Looks like uh, pigs are up in the right corner and sheep are up in the left corner. That's far enough away. That'll, that'll keep you busy going back and forth with that. Uh, I'll want to have uh, I want to have uh, scoops and things, uh, uh, arms, the tractors at. at both of those places when I, when I start raising all those things. Uh, look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? I mean, I just, I just happened to leave this here, but but you're just looking through those uh, that vegetation at the edge of the field, and um, man, this is just absolutely beautiful. I, I love this map. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, open the uh, garage door and just walk out here, so just so I can admire the view again and maybe stand over on the uh, on the uh, on the house at the house in front of the front door look at that oh my goodness I wonder if you can go through there I'll have to try that sometime but but not now because I'm out of time look at that gorgeous tree even oh my goodness it just oh man I'm a little astounded oh there are power lines here well too bad I'll just look this way a lot um, and admire this view, I guess. Um, so here we are at Estancia Lapacho Plantation. Let me know if you'd like to see a, a Farming Simulator 17 series here. Uh, like I say, I have a lot of things going on right now, but I would sure love to come back to this and, uh, and, uh, and farm this plantation and see what I can do with it. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome new subscribers, and join me next time when Tenacious Viking plays Farming Simulator 17. Oh